Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. In this particular video, we are going to draw the graphs of all these functions. And all these functions involve the modulus, that is the absolute values. So, is we know that uh, y equals to x, y equals to x. This represents the straight line like this. Let me draw the graph of y equals to x. This is y equals to x line for every values of x we are having the same value of y if x is 1 y is 1 if x is minus 1 y is minus 1 so this is y equals to x if we have y modulus of x then we are no more interested in the negative values so we need to erase this part of the graph and we need to reflect this part of the graph about the x-axis if this if this line represents the x values and this line represents the f of x values so we need to draw the mirror image of these this line about the x-axis so let's say if, if i if i draw the graph on this side for all the positive value so we will have y then this these two line will represent y equals to the modulus of x and or we can say that we will have an axis of symmetry about on both sides of that axis of symmetry, we will have the uh, same separation or the same distance of these two lines. So now for y modulus, modulus of x, we need to erase the negative values of y since the, the modulus always tells us that the values must be um, positive. The, for every values of x, the y value is positive. So for negative values of x, y is positive. So for minus 1 uh, modulus, this will be plus 1. So for negative value of x, the y value is positive. And similarly, for positive values of x, we are having the same values of y. So this represents y equals to modulus of x. Now we are required to draw the graph of f of x equals to modulus x plus 2 plus 3. So first of all, the first step is that we need to draw f of x we need to draw the graph of f of x equals to x plus 2 without modulus or we need to draw y equals to x plus 2 graph so this is the equation of straight line everything written with the x is the slope of that line and 2 is the y intercept so for x equals to 0 the y value is 2 so for x equals to 0 the y value is plus 2 and now since we are having 1 with the x, the slope of uh, this line represented by x plus 2 is 1. So for one rise, uh, for one run, one rise, one run, one rise, one run, one rise. So now this will be, this line will represent, y equals to x plus 2. And now if you want to have the absolute modulus, we, if you want to have f of x equals to f of x equals to modulus x plus 2, then we have to, we need to get rid of the negative values. So we need to draw this line on this side, on the upper side of the x-axis. So again, from this particular point, we will have the same slope of 1. So for 1 rise, uh, for one run one rise one run one rise on on this side so i will have the graph like this and once we erase this part so we will have this function for modulus of x of 2 so let me erase so now these two lines when are studied combined then this represent y equals to modulus of x plus 2 now since we are required to have modulus of x plus 2 plus 3 now for plus 3 we need to move both of these lines three units in the upward direction so i need to move these three units up so one two three and again one two and three and now we need to verify this this these two v-shaped lines now represents modulus of x plus 2 plus 3 and now 
if we want to verify that whether the graph is accurate or not we need to we need to put some values so now let's say if i put x equals to zero so f of x will be zero plus two plus three so this gives us five so for x equals to zero the y value is five so one two three four and five yes we are we are right right and now for let's say for x equals to two let's say if we substitute x equals to 2 so this will be 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 3 7 so for x equals to 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so yes we have plotted this f of x function accurately so now let's do this one f of x equals to x minus 2 minus 1 so now we, we need to draw the straight line for y equals to x minus 2 including the negative values there is no modulus so again x minus 2 tells us that the slope of the line is 1 and the y intercept is minus 2 so for x equals to 0 the y value is minus 2 so this is the y intercept somewhere here this is minus 2 and now from here the slope is 1 so for one unit run the rise is 1 so one unit run the rise is 1 so we we need to have the line somewhat like this so this will be our line and this represents y equals to x minus 2 and now if you want to have the absolute of this so for absolute we need to get rid of these negative values and we need to reflect it on the other side and we will have that same slope on the other side as well so again for one run one rise one run one rise so we will have this the line like this so one run one run one unit run one unit rise one unit run one unit rise and and we need to erase this part so now this represents if y equals to y equals to modulus of x minus 2 and now here we have minus 1 so for minus one we need to move one unit in the downward direction so we need to move these two lines one unit in the downward direction so then we will have the f of x we will have the graph for f of x equals to x minus two minus one so let's move it one unit downward so now this represents y equals to modulus of x minus two minus one and again you guys can verify for by putting some values that whether we we have done everything right so let's say for x equals to zero we want to check the y value so for x equals to zero this will be minus two modulus minus one and this is two minus one so this is plus one so for zero the y value is plus one and similarly we can check other values so this represents this represents modulus of x minus 2 minus 1 and we can find the axis of symmetry if we equate x minus 2 equals to 0 if we equate the modulus inside the modulus everything equals to 0 so this will be x equals to plus 2 so the axis of symmetry is at x equals to minus 2 so this is the axis of symmetry so on both sides of this axis of, of symmetry all the points on the lines are at same distance so this point is at a distance of four units one two three four and similarly this point is at a distance of one two three four units so every point will be equidistant from this axis of symmetry on both sides now the next function is this f of x equals to 2x plus 1 plus 3 so first of all we need to draw the straight line for or we need to draw the graph for 2x plus 1 this is the straight line so the slope is the coefficient of x is 2 divided by 1 so the slope is 2 divided by 1 so for one unit run the rise is 2 and the y-intercept is 1 so for x equals to 0 the y value is 1 so this is for x equals to 0 the y value is plus 1 and for one unit run the rise is two so for one unit run the rise is two so we are having these values so now let's let me draw the straight line like this so 
now this line represents y equals to 2x plus 1 and since we want to have the graph for absolute values of 2x plus 1 so if we want to have the modulus then we have to get rid of these negative values and we need to reflect it on this side so we will have the graph somewhat like this again for one unit run the rise will be two right so this is somewhere at 0 0.5 right so this is for one unit run the rise is two for one unit run the rise is two and then we need to erase this negative part so we need to erase this so now this this represents uh, 2x plus 1 modulus the absolute values and similarly then we have plus 3 so for plus 3 we need to move these two lines three units in the upward direction so and again we can find the axis of symmetry by equating this 2x plus 1 equals to 0 so 2x plus 1 equals to 0 x is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 which is minus 0 0.5 so axis of symmetry is at x equals to minus 0 0.5 so now we need to move both of these lines three units up in order to have 2x plus 1 plus 3. So let's move this 1, 2, and 3. And similarly, I will move this. So now these two lines represent 2x plus 1 modulus plus 3. And this is at. Uh, plus 3 and this is uh, minus 0 0.5 now if you want to check again so let's say if we want to check at x equals to 0 so substitute x equals to 0 in this so this is y equals 2 into 0 is 0 so 1 plus 3 which gives us 4 so for x equals to 0 the y value is 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 so now I think these three examples are sufficient. You guys can do these D and E as an exercise for yourself. And if I get some time, I will do it. I will do, do this D and E exercise in, in some other videos in the future. So I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more mathematics exercises.